This is just wrong. We want to be able to watch our kids. It just makes no sense whatsoever. I just think it's a rule that needs to go away. For Chris Kelly, he fears this is the only way he will ever be able to watch his son Aubrey play golf in the confines of his living room. Only because of this single line in the Montana High School Association rule book that reads, no spectators or fans are allowed on the course except for certain locations as designated by the tournament manager and club professional. So what are these designated areas? Sometimes spectators are allowed on the first tee box and the 18th green, but in many tournaments around the Treasure State, they don't exist. Right now, the understanding is simply that they don't allow any spectators out on the course. In the U.S., Montana is the only state that does not allow spectators on the course at high school golf matches. The only other state joining them? Alaska, because it does not offer golf as a high school sport. I think it's kind of a shame that Montana doesn't do it. Everybody else does, so it puts us at a disadvantage, especially kids wanting to go play in college. Out of the 49 states, why is Montana the only one that does not allow spectators? It comes down to a few factors. Parents being unruly, disrupting play, spectator safety, and illegally coaching players on the course. But many parents believe this rule singles out golf. If you tell a parent uh, that they can't watch the kid play in the Thanksgiving Day football game, they would riot. I can go to a softball game and I can sit right behind the pitcher and I can make hand signals. I can yell out names. I can do the same thing on a softball field, you know, that might affect that kid. But the parents are able to sit at all the softball games. Football games, we can yell as loud as we want. We could yell when the guy's making a pass or a catch. And many golfers feel the same way. I would really appreciate my mom and dad watching me to hit those fantastic shots and share my joy and excitement. But that's not how it is across the board. There's a, a Riggs Johnson out there who probably has no problem with the whole gallery following him. You have a lot of other kids that maybe not quite be as, as, as talented as others that are, as I mentioned earlier, are awful happy to get away from one and ten so that they can get on the course and enjoy without having, you know, somebody watching them all the time. But the MHSA says it's easy to keep those spectators in check because other sports are played in smaller venues. But golf courses are thousands of yards long and present a different challenge. From an administrative standpoint, it would be a challenge to hire additional marshals to be able to manage the huge area that, that goes along with a golf course. But James Greenbaum, who has been a lawyer for over 30 years in Montana and New York, says that it is no excuse for the MHSA member schools to vote no on repealing this rule. The highest court has stated many many times that difficulty of enforcement is no excuse for trampling on civil rights. That is a fundamental right, a fundamental right for a parent to bond with their child and encourage them in something as innocent as a sporting event? How could you deny a parent that right? A repeal of the rule was brought up in the athletic director meeting over the summer, but it was struck down yet again. And in an email sent by Livingston Athletic Director Regina Wood, she said that it received virtually no support. For now, spectators are still barred from the course, but they don't need the Constitution. They only want one thing. We're not trying to take down the Montana High School Association. We don't care about the politics. We just want to be able to watch our kids. On special assignment in Bozeman, Nick Petroccioni, MTN Sports.